Hi guys, welcome to part one of my tutorial to build an iOS app using Python and Kibi. So I'm going to be designing an app that I'm calling Friendly Fitness and I got the idea because I've been keeping track of some activity like workouts with a friend of mine using Google Sheets on my phone and it really was not easy and it just kind of sucked so I thought I could do a better job. And I'm sure there's apps that are out there that can do this but why not make one yourself, right? So. My design process here, which will be the, the topic of this video, is I use Google Slides in case anybody wants to collaborate with me when I'm making these apps. And I just first write down all my ideas. So my ideas will, are, it'll connect to a database and I'll be using Google's Firebase for this because I've used it before and it works pretty well. Then you'll be able to add friends and then you quickly upload a little description of your workouts. Uh, and then your friends are notified and you can go check your own workouts and your friends workouts and see how you guys are doing compared to each other. So when the app gets started up, okay, it'll request from the database and get all the information and uh, you'll be able to, you'll have a friend ID and that's how you add other friends and friends add you. Okay, so that's the basics, you know, my first thought process. Um, and then I get into the actual, the page layout for my app. So I just go through each screen that I think I'll need and I read a little bit about it and then I mock it up. So here's the home page and it's going to have a couple buttons and show your, your history. Also, I like this idea of having like a hot streak, like how many days in a row you worked out or something. So here's my mock up for the home page. I want to have like a little avatar um, and then maybe just one of these little like night day cycles will be showing just for fun. Uh, no real no real reason to have it, but I thought it might look fun and nice. They tell you your streak, and then there'll be a couple of these like banners or rows that have your previous logged workouts. So there's like an icon of what your workout was, like biking or working out, whatever, the time that you did it for, or the distance, or the number of repetitions, I thought. And then here it is sort of like a like system, so people can like your workouts, say good job for something that you did, okay? And then you'd be able to scroll through this list of your previous workouts. And then we'll have a button here that'll let you add a workout to your page. And then a friends list, so you can go look at your friends and what they've been doing, and a little settings button. So I, I keep all these little notes to myself, and I've got this nice mock-up. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, so then I go to the next page, which will be the add workout page. So I think, okay, what do I need here? Well, I want to choose an image for the workout that I did, so you can tell right away. Then maybe a little description if you want to write, you know, something more specific. And then you choose either how long you did it for, the distance you ran or walked, whatever, or the number of repetitions. And then you'd put in a number into your units, so like 30 minutes or maybe 5 kilometers. Okay, and then a little date. And by the way, all these icons I got from a place called flaticon.com. And you can go and get like anything you want there. It's like a huge database of icons, but you have to give credit to the authors. Or you can buy like a little, a little subscription, which is what I did for a month. And I downloaded as many icons as I wanted, and I can use them forever, even though I only subscribe for a month. So that's how I got all these icons. I think they look really good. Um, all right, let's continue. So this button would be, okay, add the workout, and then a back button, of course. Here's my little mock-up for the add a friend page. Simple, you just put in their friend ID, which you would get from texting them or something. And your own friend ID would be displayed in the settings screen. And then just, it would add them. Okay, easy as that. And then my ideas for the settings screen. Okay, you can add a friend. You can change your little profile picture or avatar. Uh, you can display, you should display your own friend ID so people can you can, you can tell people what yours is. And then a back button, of course. And maybe I thought you could customize the color scheme of the app or maybe like a dark mode. So we'll see about that. Okay, so here's a little mock-up I had for the settings page. There's your friend ID, so you can tell your friends. Change avatar, so this would be a button. This would be a button to add a friend. So I need a screen for each one of these, right? I need a change avatar screen and an add friend screen. So I'll go ahead and mock it up. There's my avatar one. Okay, so you just pretty much choose one simple stuff and then it would change your person up here. You can hit okay or back. 
and then add a friend page we already talked about. It's duplicated for some reason. My bad. Okay, the friend screen, so like back here in the home page, this friends list screen, that would look like or it should have these features. Okay, so I always write the features, then I mock up the page. Show a list of friends, including their avatars and friend ID maybe. <clears throat> okay. I thought you'd be able to nickname your friends. So I want a friend ID which is like anonymous so people can't tell who the heck you are because it will be sort of public. But then you can give a special nickname to, to any friend by their friend ID. So if my friend is named Bob but his ID is 1234, then I could just set it so 1234 is Bob and I'll just see Bob instead of 1234. And then clicking on their avatar from the friend screen would show you their workouts. Okay, that's pretty easy. So here's my mock-up for the friends page. So here I've got four friends displayed and then I like the idea of it showing your streak. So if I worked out four days in a row or whatever, there's my streak. And then if you click anywhere on this banner or this row, it would take you to a view of friends page. And I figured that the view friends screen would look a lot like your home screen where it's got the history of your workouts, uh, but then you should also be able to like one of their workouts or fist bump one of their workouts uh, as a way of commending them for what they were doing, right? So here's the view friend screen. So if I clicked on this person's uh, little profile back in the friends page, so right here, if I click that, this is what might pop up. And it would have her nickname or whatever, and her streak, and her, her previous workouts. And then I thought it'd be nice to be able to double tap this banner, and it would give a like or a fist bump. Okay, so I think that's all I need for the app at the moment, based on at least interface. And we'll get into actual coding in the next video. Thanks.